Hi and welcome to Data Entry Form developed using Visual Basic .NET 2019. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. Here I have text box and I also have a combo box there. It's a combo box here, I have a search button. Right. Now we have all of these buttons. We can add new data, delete, update, print, and so on. First thing first, let's look for a name here to delete because we can select anything here. So I'm going to select, uh, let's select Felix, Felix Terry, this one right here. And that's Felix Terry's details in there. We can click on delete and that's it is out of the database we can reset it or we can reinsert it if we want if i click on add you will see for this terror right here let's assume we want to add there we go that's felix terrors right there the choice is yours supposing you intend or you want to delete everything let's go for kemi kemi frog now we can delete Kemi uh, Frogner, and if we don't want the Kemi Frogner in there at all, we just reset the whole system, and that's it. That's Kemi Frogner gone out of the system. The other thing we can do is we can update. Supposing we want to update the details of Samson Wells. Okay, let's come in here. Look at the customer reference. Let's say we want to change that to that, and maybe. It's updated his telephone number and let's assume this change or oh, we have the wrong address in there all we just need to do is okay passport he wants that change as well to his driving license all we just need to do is click on update but before then have a good look at this now updates there we go the details of Samsung wheels are all changed now supposing we want to search let's assume we want to search for Ali if we have Ali in the system type Ali's name in there and click on search that is Ali right there Ali's details you can click and see all of Ali's details let's assume we want to look for Paul there we go we have everybody called Paul on the system supposing we want to add new data click and just add new data onto the system okay i'm going to just modify one or two data in here i'm going to change that to whatever i want and let's enter another name here let's say the name is grace grace jackson an address of miss jackson number 30 Let's say Warwick. Yeah, Warwick Town. And that's the details in there. Let's change that to that. I'm coming right here. Date of birth of Miss Jackson. There we go. And proof of ID. Let's say maybe student ID. And that's it. So all we just need to do now is enter or click on this button right there. And when you come right down here, you can see Miss Jackson details right there. This is just an overview. The complete tutorial will be published very soon. Bye for now.